What's up guys, Matt here, and welcome to another unboxing on my channel. I'm doing a voiceover for this unboxing because I didn't like the audio. So today, as you can see, I am unboxing the eTech City Super High Speed 10 port uh, USB hub, USB 3.0 I might add. Um, it also has a 5 amp um, charging port, um, which is very handy, or sorry, 2 amp, 5 volt. Um, and it also has three um, separate power power buttons, so you can choose which USB hubs that you want to power, um, which is very handy if you're if you are conscious of what how much power you consume, or even if you're just not using all the ports at one time, you can just shut off three at a time or six or whatever. So yeah, in the box, the box is a little plain. Um, you got the East e Tech City logo up there. Um, simplifying your life one product at a time. Not too shabby on the packaging, not too great. You open it right up, and right away you're greeted with the hub itself. We're going to put that off to the side for now. And down below, you get a couple things. You get the um, power brick, which actually, this power brick um, reminds me more of like an older Dell style um, power brick. Um, and it's just a DC amp, uh, or I think it's 12 amps, um, 12 volts powering it. Um, so yeah, it definitely can handle many, many devices plugged into it at the same time. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see in the box, we also get the uh, USB 3 uh, cord, so you don't have to worry about that, obviously. Um, now I do have to note this is USB 3, so you cannot, you can't like just plug it into a USB 2.0 port. Um, you have to have a USB 3.0 port, but they do offer a 2.0 version. It's a bit different looking, and then you get a little bit of paper which doesn't really have anything of importance. So let's get right to the hub now. So as you can see, it is a nice matte black finish um, with its own little buttons here. And uh, on and off, clicky, nice and good. All USB 3 hubs. Uh, you got nine on the top, one on the side next to the charging port, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, each each thing, each uh, USB port has its own um, LED. So when it's in use, there's that tenth USB 3.0 port and the five volt two amp charging port. On the other side, you get the USB 3.0 in and the DC power ports. Um, the build quality on this is very nice, surprisingly. Um, I like it a lot. Alright guys, so don't mind the messy cable management, but I do have um, the eTech City 10 port USB hub set up here. I have about uh, six of the hubs of the ports using power right now. Um, so if I turn that on, that allows two more. Um, so I have a bunch of high power things in here. I also tested it with a microphone just to see if there's any um, fuzz or anything like that um, because I'm planning on putting a mixer through this. And there was absolutely no fuzz whatsoever. Um, so I upgraded to this from this dinky little USB 2.0 hub from probably the 90s or early 2000s. Um, but yeah, so it was it was pretty bad. I mean, it did the job. Um, but this is a much better quality. Plus, it has blue LEDs, which really matches my orange and blue setup that I'm trying to go for here. So right here, you uh, you can see my one terabyte Toshiba hard drive, um, and it it works completely fine. It shows right up on the screen, um, and it and it allows full access. So that that powers that, um, 100 percent. And it also allows use of microphones. Elgato game captures. I also have a webcam, keyboard, mouse, Elgato. So in t in total, I guess I can I can say that I have a web uh, I have a webcam, keyboard, mouse, Elgato, microphone, um, external hard drive, and I think that's it. But this thing definitely powers all of them, and as you can see, each power button does work. So I can shut that off and that's all my peripherals so that's the Elgato keyboard and mouse um, so th this really allows you to choose what how much power you want to allow um, to go to each device so it really comes in handy really responsive for USB 3 and it holds up to it's 
it's saying this is probably the best USB hub that you can buy right now. Um, best price as well. And it's also, I think, the best looking. The Matte Black looks really good with my setup with all my Logitech products and my MacBook. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing and review. So, please comment down below what you guys thought of it and if you'll be picking it up. Um, you guys will probably see this in my room tour next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Matt, and as always, peace.